So I'm changing out hydraulic hoses on the loader of this Kubota tractor. And let me show you how I do that. This particular hydraulic hose change is on a Kubota M6800 with a 1002 uh, LA1002 loader on it. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your tractor's not running. That goes without saying, but uh, still need to say it. Still need to say it. Uh, also, put it in float position on, on mine. It, it locks into place up here when it's floating. Float means just when, when there's no pressure on it, the, the bucket is all the way on the ground without any force, without any down force. And then just make sure you wiggle it back and forth, you know, as if you were curling the bucket uh, or raising and lowering the bucket. You get, want to get all that pressure off of it after you've killed it. So I just work it up and down like this a few times, back and forth, back and forth. I want to make sure everything is bled off. There's no pressure on it. Um, that way you don't lose as much fluid. On this particular tractor, it has a, a, a clamp here that's holding all these lines together. And these just hold, hold these in place, but it makes it a little hard for to get in here with a wrench. So what I did on the side over here that is, um, uh, that had the, the leaky hose, and it wasn't busted, it was just leaking and was just cost me a little bit of fluid. I want to go ahead and get it done. Uh, I unhooked this little deal right here. Just pull these two bolts out here and here. And that way it spreads it out, spreads them out a little bit where I can get to them much easier with the wrench. When I took the, um, when I took the hoses off, of course you get some leakage, some spillage there on the ground. I put some, con uh, some uh, cardboard under it. Uh, I've also got some little plugs here, just some little plastic plugs that I, I just got them a long time ago and they just happened to fit and uh, that also helped with some of the spillage. So those are coming out, that one already popped out. Those are coming out and the new hoses are going on. Let's put the hoses back on. So actually only one hose was leaking but I'm going to be making a mess here in the, in the uh, barn anyway so I decided to pull pull all four hoses off that side and um, and get uh, three hoses made for it so I've got uh, I've got these three hoses made I'll put some tape over the ends so we don't get any little spider webs or or dirt daubers or anything else put some put a, a piece of tape over it and then uh, put them on a shelf somewhere and I'll have them when the next one busts but the one that was leaking is a newer hose. This is a gator hose. I know exactly where that came from because I know the place that uses gator hoses. I've, I've used two different places and now the Kubota place, which would be three, to make hoses for me. And uh, that one right there came from my local uh, small town hardware shop. Sure did. So again, it was leaking at the coupling. So it wasn't the hose's fault, but it may have been uh, the, a bad coupling or a bad crimp. So why not get it done? It's going to cost you more at the dealer. I know that gum. I hate to deal with deal with dealers, but, um, but it's, um, you know, maybe they do a better job. And I'm, I'm replacing this after about two years because it was leaking right in there. Now I've got another video on this that I don't go into as much detail as I'm going to on this one, as much uh, uh, demonstration. And I've gotten a lot of questions on that video about bleeding the hydraulics, about um, uh, do you have to bleed them after you, after you uh, change them. Uh, this is only the second tractor I've ever done this on, but the first one was a 1960-something model old uh, case that I had. A 530 case, pretty big tractor, and I've never, ever had to bleed anything off. So it, it would, I would just about bet that the, 
uh, all bleeding is that that all tractors are self bleeding that uh, uh, that you don't have to do any bleeding of the hydraulics. Again, I got asked that a lot several times on the other video. And the only thing I've found after I change the fluid is there'll be a little hitch in the in the steering. There'll be a it might want to spin freely for a little bit and then and then catch and whatever. And but after a while it works itself out and you you're able to steer and the the tire you know the tires turn and everything until the fluid finally gets in here, self bleeds. Then it's uh, it's finished. In my opinion, it's finished its self self bleed, and um, and you're ready to go. So although I didn't show you the taking the hoses off, it's just a matter of unscrewing them, not a big deal, but I will show you putting them back on. So this is the first one I'll put back on, and this is an old hose. I'm putting back the old hose back on because there was nothing wrong with it. This one was not one of the ones that are leaking. cork I'm putting on these but you know it's pretty tight I mean very tight but uh, again you don't want to don't want to strip anything don't want to bend anything I'll check for leaks after it's done but uh, you know again you just you don't want to twist something off that's welded onto that cylinder Ooh, that'd be expensive to fix so you don't want to put so much on it that you're twisting things off all right, I'll go back and make sure all of them are tight, but not over tight and I'm not, not hurting anything. Just make sure they're all tight and then we'll crank it up, check for leaks, and um, get the steering back, get, the, get, the, get it self-primed, uh, all the fluid, and then I'll put this little clip back in place and hold these together. But I'll wait until I don't find any leaks before I do that. Okay, so I'll crank it up, check for leaks, run the steering back and forth. Don't want to run it too long inside this enclosed building, but we'll crank it up. Flow plug, about five seconds. I cleaned this up quite a bit just so I could see if there were going to be any leaks. They should be bled at all. Let me work the levers. My battery's running down, so I gotta be quick. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, again self bleeds this one does i think all of them do i don't think you have to do any bleeding but look at a shop manual if you're concerned about that okay here we are finished up uh i cleaned off i cleaned this plate off i cleaned all that off everything's kind of still wet i washed it off good uh that drop down there is water but i will uh i'll make sure i mean i parked it where i was parked I definitely had a drip, so I parked in a different place so I can uh, I can make sure that it's not uh, not going to leak. But uh, it looks good to me, all pretty and shiny, and uh, hoses back where they belong. But, uh, just don't worry about it. Don't be scared. Just don't have your tractor running and take the pressure off. And uh, and you can do it too. Anybody can do it. Don't take it to the dealer. It's not necessary. Take. You might want to take your hoses to the dealer, get them made, get some quality hoses. But, um, because that other hose had only been on there a couple of years. And, uh, uh, so I'm not going to go back there and get any hoses made. Cost me more, I'm sure. I haven't even looked at the price, but I'm sure they, I'm sure it was more than what I would have paid at the hardware store. I think it's worth it. Um, anyway, everything's pretty. 
Everything's kind of shiny. I didn't clean it that real pretty, but it's pretty enough. Hoses on a tractor. Change them out. And keep a spare. I really recommend that. But anyway, don't be worried about changing hoses. Easy as pie. And speaking of pie, I need to go inside. <laughs> Where are we going?